At this point, we've created a bunch of different components and let's try to bring them all together and create a dashboard where we can get a high level overview of what's going on in our application. In order to do that, we're gonna go back into the edit mode of the application and in the builder, we're going to create a new component and we'll click that plus icon in the top left corner. And this time we're gonna select a page here. And we have templates that you can use, but of course we're building from scratch. So we're gonna select a blank one and let's just call this my dashboard. Now the dashboard works kind of similar to the form builder where you can drag and drop components over from the left hand side into the canvas on the right hand side. First thing you have is this first column that shows all the different types of content we can drag over. Panels are kind of like used for KPIs where you can have a piece of content displayed and an icon and we can customize all this. We'll get into this in a second. We can have charts displayed. We can have some different kinds of charts, search bars and we can embed a couple different components and a bunch of different options here. So the first thing I wanna do is take that calendar report I had already created and add it to this dashboard. So in order to do that, I will select the report icon on the left. We're using this vacation request application. What report do I wanna have embedded? Well, I wanna have that vacation calendar um, report embedded and I can just drag it over to the right hand side and it's gonna show me this. Now on the right hand side, I can have a couple different properties. If I want to restrict some actions and just kind of remove a little bit of clutter, I can do so. Maybe I don't really need a print or export on this screen, um, but I will keep the option to edit duplicating, not really necessary. And so I will click done. Now, if I go and click done, access this application, it's going to show me the calendar report. And so you'll kind of say this calendar report looks almost exactly like this calendar report. It's just an embedded component. So being full screen like this doesn't really add much. Let's add some more components in here so we can see more information at once. So we'll go back into the page builder and this time let's add a chart. And a chart, we can drag and drop it anywhere we want on here. So you'll see one section highlights darker blue and that's gonna be where this panel goes. So I'll add it to the left. And now we can configure the actual chart. So it's a stacked bar chart where we wanna be able to see exactly how many days people have taken off versus how many they're allotted for the entire year. So first I need to figure out which form I'm gonna use. And in this case, it's gonna be employees because we have fields for vacation days taken and vacation days allowed already existing. And so my X axis across the horizontal plane is gonna be every employee's first name. And so I'll put employees. And then for the Y axis, it's going to be the aggregate values of the two fields that we have, vacation days available, as well as vacation days taken. I can add a filter as well here. So let me add a filter and say, I only want people who have a certain role. And so let's say we only wanna see the salespeople. I'll go ahead and click done here. I can preview this chart to make sure that everything I've got going on is right. And so here I can see that some salespeople have more vacation days available, but nobody's in orange here because I haven't created any kind of workflows that automatically add vacation days up. Um, we'll do that in the next video with more workflow actions and getting into some more complicated addition and things along those lines. But for right now, these are all the salespeople that we have and we can see all their information. Dwight has zero vacation days available. For some reason, we'll go in and check that out and see what it's gonna be. And I can also change the color palette if I want. I like the greens and blues a little bit better. I can move the legend to be in a certain area. I think top is fine here. I'll go ahead and click done. And also what I'm gonna do is click on this little T icon here to enable a title for that. So here I'll put sales people vacations and click save. And I can add a title to this one and say company wide calendar and click done. So now if I access this application, I will be able to see our company wide calendar on the right hand side, as well as a chart of everybody here. Let's go figure out why Dwight doesn't have any vacation days available here. So we'll go over to our employees, look at all employees. And if I look over at Dwight, he has zero vacation days available. That's why his name is right over here. So I'm gonna right click edit and let's give him 20, just like everybody else. And if I come back over to my dashboard, it'll update properly. So here, Jim and Stanley both get 30, maybe because they're top salespeople, they get a couple more days than everybody else. But we'll add a couple more components into this dashboard. And so I'll go back into the edit mode. And this time we're gonna add a couple of these panels so we can see what's going on here. So I'll add a panel and maybe we will pick up, uh, let's take this red one. Maybe we'll put it there. 
and we'll add it at the top. Again, those blue lines indicate where it goes. It's kind of like a grid system. So I'll add it at the very top here. And this one, we're going to say, whenever I hover over each one of these components, you can see that the outline kind of changes. Each one of them, we can customize however we want to. And I can also add new elements and drag them over if I wanted to kind of design my own block. But in this case, I'll stick with what I have. I'm going to change the phrase for total visitors to, um, let's say, total vacation requests. And I will go ahead and change this number 10, which is right now listed as static text. I don't want static text. I want to do account of records in a form. There's a couple other ways you can access and, you know, get like the average or total um, you want. But in this case, just the count of records. Which form are we going to count records for? Obviously, the vacation request form. And I don't want it to be on any statuses. We'll do that in a bit. Right now, it's just all vacation requests. And so count is going to be the actual count. There's no real units really involved, and so that one is going to be done. Let's add a couple more panels in here for seeing the approved and rejected statuses. So I'll pick that same panel style, drag it over to the left-hand side, and we'll change this 10 from static text to account of vacation requests, except we will put a filter on there and say status equals approved. Click done. We will change the text here from total visitors to approved requests. Requests. And I also want to change this color style up. So we'll make approved requests. Maybe we'll make it green. So I'll select green here and green for this text as well. And X out of here. And we'll add one third panel here. And we'll add it on the right hand side. And we'll call this rejected. So count of vacation request status equals rejected. Then we'll change the text here to rejected requests. And we'll leave those red and maybe vacation total can be a different color just to make it a little different. So we'll change the style from red to blue maybe. Oops, that didn't look right. The background will just be, well, let's make that blue and the color white done and we can paint change these uh, icons up too. there's a bunch of icons so for example the approved one we could make a check mark for example maybe the pending one we can make an I think there was an hourglass maybe we can change it to And I'll just leave rejected. We'll change that one while we're at it. And here, maybe we'll pick something that looks like an X or a cross off or something that might fit. Boom. Now we'll click done, access this application. And here we're going to be able to see three bits of information. One rejected request, two approved, and four totals. And just to cross verify, we'll go over to our list report. And we'll see one pending, one rejected, and two approved. So total of four. And so those numbers make sense and they work out. This is a very quick and easy way to make a dashboard that pulls in information across multiple forms or reports in your application and kind of view everything in one place. In the next video, we'll get into a little bit more about how we can make these numbers look right and some more automation actions. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.